Uh, third and finally, we've got horizontal scaling. Now, I could go really in depth on this and talk about different ways of horizontal scaling, but instead I've just made one nice little slide to cover the bases. So what you would do is duplicate a winning ad set to a new area. And here are just a couple of examples. The first one, a US based ad set, duplicated, but change the country, change it to Canada, try Canada, change it to the UK. Or you could, or for example, an ad set targeting Australia, UK, US, Canada, duplicate it to worldwide, see what happens. Perhaps you're duplicating to new age ranges. You have a profitable ad set hitting the 18 to 24 age range. So you duplicate it. And in this new duplicate settings, in the ad set settings, you change the age range to 25 to 34 and test this new age range. Obviously, you do keep the original running because it's profitable. Or maybe you try new devices. Maybe you're running desktop only ad sets, a campaign that just has desktop only ad sets in and they're all profitable. So you could potentially duplicate all of these to iPhone only ad sets or even Android only ad sets. And as I said, you just keep the originals running, don't edit them, don't stop running them if they're profitable, just duplicate them and change the settings in the duplicate. Things to note, obviously this is only going to work if your targeting isn't too broad. If you're targeting worldwide, all genders, 13 to 54 plus, all devices, all placements, then on the surface you don't really have any new ground to test because you're running an ad set to literally everyone and everything. Or do you? If you check the breakdown, using the breakdown tab, of the country, the age, the gender, the placement, the device, region, and see where the budget has been spent, you might find that actually, although this ad set is running to all devices, for example, the majority, 80% of the budget has been spent on iPhone. 15% has been spent on Android, only 5% has been spent on desktop, in, in which case you would duplicate this ad set to run only on desktop with this duplicate. So you keep the original run into all devices and the duplicate you'd run to just desktop because that way you know with 100% certainty where your budget is going to be spent with this new ad set and it's going to be spent on just desktop because that is what you put in the settings for this duplicate. And then you can see if Perhaps desktop is going to work. So basically, to summarize, what you would do is just duplicate to things that the budget is neglected so far. So in, in the example I just spoke about, it would be desktop because it only used 5% of the budget. And that is the end of the, the section on scaling. Uh, I haven't provided a practical coverage of this. Just because at the moment I'm working on the case studies and you'll probably see me trying all sorts of different scaling methods within the case studies anyway. So there's not really any point covering it here as an over the shoulder view.